welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be building the Tamiya Lotus Type 79 and 1 20th scale. Now I've had this kit on my desk for a little while now, and I'm waiting to build it, but I had a few other projects I wanted to get out of the way first, so after a little while, here it is. The kit has very nicely molded parts, and as you can see, um, there wasn't too much flash. I began by separating the three colors that I would use to paint the model, roughly, into black, silver, and the body color. I started out by painting model color negro black onto the flat black parts. Keep in mind I'll do some detail painting later on. Then I went ahead with some model air Vallejo silver and painted the brake calipers, exhaust pipes, pretty much anything else that would be silver on the real car. After that had completed drawing, I proceeded to begin to assemble the engine. The engine was very detailed, as I said before, and I was really happy with the result after I had finished gluing it all together. To add, to paint the um, Ford raised lettering molded into the plastic on the engine covers, I used a toothpick and dipped it into that same um, Model Air Vallejo silver paint I had used previously, and I was just gently rubbing it across the raised surface of the molds to reveal that nice Ford logo. The kit also includes these small little metal um, wires that can be used to simulate the spark plug wires. Uh, these are very fiddly so I wasn't able to show most of the process of me cutting them and placing them onto the model, um, but here's what the finished result looks like. I'm really glad that they included them as they really add another dimension to the model that it really didn't have previously. Yeah, you can see they just look really great when they're completed. I painted the brake calipers with Tester's gold paint I had lying around um, from a little while ago. After the gold paint had finished drawing, I glued the brake calipers onto um, part of the assembly and added a few other plastic parts. I laid out all the parts that would be painted the body killer, and I ordered some Gravity Killer's Ferrari Nero, Nero Stellato Black. Uh, there will be a link to that down in the description. This paint sprays so well, um, works very nicely, and I absolutely love the whole paint. Um, the killer I chose isn't exactly correct for the real car. Uh, the real car was just painted this Lotus um, Black, but I decided to choose a paint that had a tiny bit of a metallic flake in it just to bring out the uh, color and the decals a little more. And I'm really happy that I did. Even though it's not accurate, I think it really looks a lot better than just having a plain black car. And when the model hits the sun, you can really see that gold flake just pop.
the paint really lays out smooth with little to no orange peel, and I just really enjoyed the whole process of painting it, more than I have with other paints. Now keep in mind this paint dries completely flat to semi-gloss, so you're going to want to put a gloss coat varnish on that, and I just use their I just use the gloss clear that they have on their website, the 1K gloss clear. Uh, this is a two-part gloss that you just mix into the bottle, use it once, and it works really well. After the paint had drawing, I went ahead and did some shots of it um, with my camera. Unfortunately, you can't really see the gold flake in the paint, but believe me, it's there in person and it looks really great. But as you can see, there's little to no orange peel just right out of the can. Um, doesn't require any mixing, and it just turns out great. I then went ahead and uh, proceeded to build the rest of the assembly. I then used the decal that was included to apply the decals for the seatbelt and for the gash, dashboard, da dashboard gauges. I then glued the engine to the rest of the body and started to finish up the outer shell of the car. The intake covers are this little, are they have these little mesh pieces that were included in the kit that go over them. They're already pre um, bent and everything, and they're really nice. So I was very pleased with them. Now what I did after that was I took some black craft paint on an old brush and I just brushed that over the entirety of the surface of the wheels or the rims and then after I finished washing my paintbrush off I went ahead with a paper towel and just wiped the excess off leaving the paint in the um, lowered surface areas of the rims. It really just adds another layer of detail to the model. Now applying decals was a little bit difficult for this particular kit um, just because there were so many pinstriping decals and um, another thing with black paint that you're going to want to worry about is silvering on the decals. So what I did to prevent this was uh, make sure I sprayed a gloss clear before I applied them and then use some Tamiya decal solvent. Uh, this stuff works really well, just applied and just applied straight out of the bottle. I applied that twice, once before I had laid the decals down, and once after I had laid the decals down. And if the decal was larger, I applied it a few other times uh, while it was curing. And I didn't have any problems with silvering or anything like that. And they all just worked perfectly. Uh, an example where I applied it multiple times was this large decal on the side of the car, uh, the one that says the Olympus cameras. That was a very hard decal to apply. Um, Although the decals are great in this kit, they are very thin, but very strong, and I ended up not really breaking any, 
I broke one of the pinstriping decals, but that wasn't very um, bad, and they just conformed to the surface really well. So, great job with Tamiya on the decals. After I had finished applying the decals, I went ahead with some 220 grit sandpaper and sanded down the mold seams on the wheels. Um, now this, si this step I think is absolutely necessary uh, if you want to make the model look really good and it only takes about 5 minutes, five minutes to do. Um, it pretty much just removes the seam lines and makes the wheels look more uh, weathered if you can say that. Here you can see it in the video right there before and after. It just adds another layer of detail and realism. I feel like I've said detail and realism way too much in this video. Anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If, if you want to help support my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon too so that you can be notified whenever I post anything new on my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Please subscribe and share. Happy modeling guys. See ya.